We are utilizing a simple three-step process to install a brand motion backup camera. Our Jeep has several custom accessories that make this installation more interesting. Welcome, this is Scott from Say Yes Outdoors. Our 2015 Wrangler does not have a factory installed backup camera, and in my opinion, it is a must-have car accessory. We have the Smittybilt SRC Oversized Tire Carrier. This system utilizes a solid shaft and bracket to mount the spare tire versus lug bolts. This creates an opportunity when mounting the brand motion camera as it uses a lug bolt system to mount. We resolve this problem by using a one and quarter inch wheel spacer to mount the camera to the tire. This then allowed us to use the Smittybilt carrier as normal. We installed ARB storage system to manage our gear more effectively. This increases complexity to new installations on the back of the Jeep. To avoid uninstalling the ARB system, we loosen the factory molding in the back passenger corner to allow the space to run and hide the camera wiring. The molding can be easily disassembled by hand. The next step is to run the wiring harness through the back molding towards the tailgate. After running the camera wire through the back tailgate through the tailgate vent, not shown, connect the camera wire to the harness. Make sure the two arrows are aligned. Using the provided zip ties, secure the camera wiring harness to the factory wiring. Luckily, a previous project has provided a connection point for a power wire and ground wire. I use these wires to provide power to the camera system. Lastly, run the wiring along the back passenger side of the Jeep all the way to the front passenger footwell. Eventually, this will connect behind the radio. Time to remove the dashboard. Start by removing the panel below the steering wheel. There are four 7mm screws that must be removed. Two are under the steering wheel. One is behind the power window controller in our Jeep. Slide the red latch and push down on the bracket to disconnect the power supply. The last screw is on top of the dash at the bottom of the open storage compartment. This will now allow easy removal of the dash. You now have access to the radio. Four more 7mm screws will allow total removal. Gently slide out the radio and find the large open slot in the back. There is a supplied radio video plug that came with the camera. When running the video plug, make sure you run it behind the radio mounting bracket or it could break the wire. Connect the radio video plug to the camera wiring harness video plug to complete the wiring. The additional red wire is not used since we supplied the power at the back of the Jeep. Now use the programming tool that came with the camera to sync your factory radio settings. You should now have a functioning backup camera. Thank you for watching Say Yes Outdoors.